Hello, I'm Izami, and today I'm filling in for Ayman because he has work today, and this is kind of a rare occasion um, where we're trying to fix something going on with our submersible pump, and it's kind of tricky to work with this sort of lid because, um, as you can see, we have the metal cover and we have the four bolts that are tightening it. And we have to unscrew the bolts to loosen the lid. But if we unscrew it too much, then the rubber seal might fall off. And we don't want that to happen because it might fall down the hole. And then it's going to be really hard to get it back up. And so what my dad had to do was he sort of loosened the bolt slowly until he could eventually pry it out with the pry bar. And then he was able to open the lid. Now first, we, what we did was we checked to see if there was continuity in the wiring system. So, uh, we, we won't show that right now, we'll do it in another video. But basically, there is a sort of regulator in the basement. And then we used a, an ometer, or a voltmeter, what's it called, a multimeter to measure the continuity and then we were able to detect that there was no continuity in the in the system. So now once we are able to detect the break in the continuity of the wire, now what we need to do is figure out where it broke. So what we're doing right now is we loosen the lid so that we can lift up the pump and find where the break is. Alright, so what my dad had to do was he had to loosen the screws with the bolt, so he had to use this tool and then he put it on the screw and then he gently uh, loosened it and then after he did that for all four screws he tried using a screwdriver first he could try opening it with a crowbar first but he didn't want to risk breaking the rubber seal so he started with the smallest prying tool first so he tried prying it um, and then afterwards, he moved on to bigger tools, like the pry bar. Now, the reason he had to unscrew it so slowly was because he actually didn't know how long the bolts were. If he did know how long they were, he would know about how much he needed to untighten them. But since he didn't know, he had to slowly work it until he was able to get it free. And then, of course, the last tool, he, he eventually was already using the crowbar to pry it up. But my dad already did the job of loosening the thing, so I don't actually need to use this crowbar. I can just lift it up to the side. <clears throat> okay. Um, so now that we have it open, what we're going to do is we're going to place a piece of cardboard there so that we make sure nothing falls out and then we can fully unscrew the screws. And these are the rubber pieces I was talking about earlier. So you see, if you had unscrewed them even a little bit more, they might have just fallen off and then they would have fell down the wall, which of course would be really bad. And we actually decided that we weren't going to take out the screws all the way because we were concerned that the entire pipe might just fall down the well, so we wanted to prevent that from happening. Um, okay, correction, when I, whenever I say screw, sometimes I mean bolt. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, my dad seems to think it's a big deal. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. People know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just terminology. Yeah, like, I mean, if you were asking for a part, a specific part, you might need to know between bolt and screw, but right now we're just un unscrewing the bolt, or however you want to say it. Alright, so I want to spend some time talking about this mechanism a little bit. So this is what creates the seal so that no contaminants, nothing else gets into the wall. And how this works is, we have the two metal halves here, we have the two metal halves here, and then we have a rubber piece in between. And when we screw the bolt, it compresses the two metal pieces together, which compresses the rubber, which causes it to expand and create the seal. Nice explanation. So as you can see, my dad, I finished pulling out the entirety of the pump. 
and then this is the actual pump right here you see it was actually really difficult to pull this wire out because it's a little rusted so sometimes it gets stuck so my dad would just have to let it go a little bit and then pull it back up so as you can see this pump is really heavy and then my dad had to sort of lift it all the way up so you can imagine how hard that was dang <laughs> It's not just your dad, right? You had you had to help. It. It's not just our dad. You had to help lift it out, right? You were holding um, it. Oh yeah, I was holding it to make sure it didn't fall back down. Mm -hmm. It was a team effort. Yeah. So that's the end of this video. We just wanted to show you how to remove the cover and take out the pump. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about finding the actual brake and how to fix it. Anyways, I'm Izami. This is my brother Ayman. And remember to please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, <laughs> and check out all our other videos. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> nice job, Lonnie.